Hi friends, um, the first bird that we're going to learn how to draw is the cardinal. You can see I kind of lightly drew it on my paper with pencil to start because I'm going to be drawing it with a black marker just so that you can see it better. But definitely start yours by um, drawing in pencil. I highly recommend um, drawing shapes really lightly first too. So what I did for the body was I drew a nice big oval for the body and then a smaller circle for the head just to get how big I want my bird to be. And definitely make your bird the main focus of your paper. Um, you can draw a landscape. I always like to have my bird kind of sitting on a tree branch just so it's not floating or even kind of sitting on the ground or something like that. Um, but to start, I really want to get the shape of my bird's body. So cardinals have these really cool kind of mohawks that fan out. So I'm going to start by going over and kind of tracing that fan there. I definitely want some texture on its head. Okay. Um, definitely want to show where those, um, those feathers separate for the head. And then I'm going to bring from the head, I'm going to bring the body around, kind of curve it around, a little spot for where the foot's going to go, and connect. Okay. All right, now I'm going to draw the beak in there. Maybe do a little, little nostril for the beak. I'm gonna draw where the kind of mask on the cardinal goes as well. Kind of goes around the eye and down the chin here. And for my eyes, I always do a circle, um, but I definitely always leave a little white reflection in there for the eye, a little glimmer. And then I'm gonna come back around and I'm gonna do the wing. Okay. And when I do the wing, um, we definitely want lots of um, texture on this wing here. So I'm gonna bring this around. Definitely get those feathers in there. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the tail. That kind of comes around, and of course we want to do some texture. This face as well, it kind of fans out here. And then again. And bird feet. Um, the bird feet are really kind of interesting. Many times people just do the line that goes down and then three little toes, but they actually kind of bend. Okay, so they bend like this first. This one's behind us, so it's going to look a little bit different. And then they have one part that goes back longer and then kind of curves around. And then here's the toes. This helps them kind of balance. You gotta think that with the balance too. Okay. And of course, I'm gonna draw that tree branch that the bird sits on. And I, I always like having it kind of go to the edges of my paper. So it looks like it would continue off of my paper here. Once you are done um, drawing it with pencil, you definitely could add more to your landscape if you want to, or you could leave it the way it is, um, and we can always add some color to the background. But once you are done drawing it in pencil, you want to take your eraser and erase out any of those pencil lines just to clean it up. And you are ready. You are ready to add some color next class. So hold on to these pictures, put it in a safe spot like a folder, binder, or notebook. 
um, and bring it back next class so we can add some color to our bird.